Right then, we are now into the memory section of the paper with question number eight, which is all about long-term memory. So we're being asked about differences between episodic and procedural memory. We've got several ways in which we can go. We could talk about what they actually are. So memories of events versus memories for actions. We could also talk about conscious versus unconscious retrieval. Or you could go a little bit rogue and talk about the fact that they are in different parts of the brain or that certain types of memory are more resistant to amnesia than others. I'm going to keep it really simple and I'm going to talk about what they are and then I'm going to talk a little bit about unconscious versus conscious retrieval. Okay, so here we go. This is my answer. So I'll start off with saying what procedural memories are, memories of skills or muscle, and then you've got episodic memory in the second paragraph, on the other hand, which is our memory of specific events. Okay, I then have my second difference, which is memories that don't require conscious effort to recall versus memories that do require conscious effort to recall. So procedural memory does not require conscious effort, whereas episodic memory does. And then just because it's a full marker, I've added in just a little bit of extra detail in the form of an example. Okay, so for procedural memory, I've said, for example, riding a bike or playing a musical instrument, whereas episodic memory could be something like a birthday party or getting married. Okay, I've only put that in because it's a four marker, and because for four marks, sometimes you just need a little bit more detail in your answer. Okay, that was question number eight. Let's move straight on to question number nine.